Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Binman and today you are tuned in for an inspiration video on fall trends, fall fashion, and how to build a capsule wardrobe. So stay tuned. A few weeks ago I got a catalog from one of my favorite brands which is Rails, a California company who are really well known for their shirts, especially their hunter plaid shirts. They're super, super soft. They came up, they basically invented a new type of cloth to be used in shirts and it's very soft, very durable and as long as you pay attention to how your garments are supposed to be laundered, they last for a very, very long time and they fit in Incredible. So when I got my catalog, I was really inspired not only by the classic prints and classic silhouettes, but also I just loved that it created a little bit of a nice pre-fall wardrobe and it also allowed me to go into my closet and become inspired and kind of mimic these looks and try out some new ways of putting things together and also just getting inspired not only for fall but how to create capsule wardrobe and how to be inspired how to reinterpret something that maybe you see in a catalog or a movie and put your own spin on it so that's what we're talking about today on the cover we have this beautiful watercolor floral dress everything of course is from rails now this is a little bit too form-fitting for my style so if I'm just taking a step back and seeing this as a floral dress, I have one of those and one of my favorites is from Cleabella and this one I feel like really has a similar vibe for fall. It has a strong shoulder, it has a little bit of a western detail which is always very popular in fall. It has kind of an abstract pattern, floral pattern going on but I think the colors really work. They're not as bright and joyful I would say as the rails one it's definitely not as tight it's more of a classic a-line silhouette nips you in at the waist but this one works a little bit better for me in my lifestyle so that's kind of the key with taking inspiration from other places is that you have to take a step back from the beautiful image that you're seeing and just think about it almost in the abstract you see a floral dress do you have a floral dress? Do you like your floral dress? Is it a good length for you? Does it still fit? Things like that. As we keep going, we're noticing things like chunky knits and denim. Do you have denim? You probably do. So do I. <laughs> One of my favorite ones, and it's also a straight cut, is from Eagle D. Now, Eagle D doesn't have as much stretch in, and I know Rails just recently came out with their own denim line, so that is awesome for them. I already have denim that I really, really like, so how can I kind of get this rails look while kind of maintaining that spirit? So if you don't have a short sleeve sweater cardigan, then you can reinterpret it with something that has the same sleeve length and maybe a little bit of detail. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft. It has a little bit of lace detail and again it goes down to my elbow. Super, super comfortable, very lightweight. It's, it's going to be really great to layer and also to stand on its own. So I always feel, I feel very strongly about this. Whenever you're choosing your layering pieces, especially with something like a white shirt or a blouse, I think things have to be able to stand on their own and stand with the layering pieces because you're probably going to take your jacket or your cardigan or something off. So unless it is the key piece, then it needs to look good on its own and with something else. You could also interpret the cardigan as something woven and a little bit more of that sweater vest trend. This would look amazing with them as well. So don't like say goodbye to your sweater vest. They are coming for fall and something in a cream with a little bit of marbling or a little bit of detail can give you that same vibe without feeling like you have to go get something else. Something that really struck me was I feel like a lot of brands are really going heavy with the chocolate brown and the caramel and the pecan 
and Rails is really leaning into black, which I think is really fun. So black usually we think of in winter and they are kind of bringing it in for fall. So I say have fun with your blacks if you are really inspired by the Rails, California, cool vibe, and maybe brown just isn't a color for you. It doesn't really fit with you. Don't be afraid to wear blacks with brighter colors, more fall colors, because Rails is doing it, so you can do it too. Now, the black dress. This black dress is gorgeous. For me, this black dress felt like it was a little bit more special than I wanted for an everyday black dress. I love having that everyday staple of black for fall that can transition into winter. And this one with the eyelet detailing, even though it is so beautiful, again, it felt a little bit more special for my lifestyle. If I worked in an office, possibly, but as a stay-at-home mom, this one from Ann Taylor Loft just feels a little bit better. A very, very similar silhouette. This one is in a jersey. Rails is going to be in a cotton with a little bit more detailing. So it's just those little things. When you look at your black dress that you have, do you wish it had a little bit more detail? Maybe you go for the rails. Do you wish it was a little bit more everyday? Maybe you go into loft instead. We have lots of fun prints going on in dresses right now. Now Rails is showing a black and white and they are showing it as a really nice contrast. So you can go for something black and white. Maybe you have a black and white top that you really love. Maybe you have a black and white dress that you really love. I interpreted it as just a fun play on pattern. And this is another loft dress. It is my peacock dress and I love it so much. It is so flirty and so fun. Not as sophisticated as the Rails version, but I feel like it basically gets the same job done because it's playing with pattern and it's playing with a looser shape. So all of those things, shape, cut, color, that's how you reinterpret things into your personal style and your life and also your own wardrobe. So as we continue to flip through the catalog, they're also showing greens, army green, sage green, moss green. That is a huge color for fall this year. I had happened to purchase an Emerson Fry shirt very recently from Ever Eve, and this one just really reminded me of the reels. And pairing it with black was like a black pant was not something that I had anticipated doing, but I actually really thought that was really fun. I also really love just the carefreeness of pairing it with a paper bag waist and also it, it allowed me to bring back one of the pair of pants that I got in spring that I absolutely love again from Ever Eve but if you are not maybe a pants kind of gal or you are just more into skirts right now you can interpret the black pants into a black skirt maybe it has that same menswear detailing of the pleats and maybe it doesn't it's it can be the color blocking, it can be the fit. Again, it's just taking certain elements and seeing if you have those already, putting those together and seeing if you like them. You might even decide that you just wanna change up the shoes. So you put together, like for me, in the modeling shots, you can see I put together the green top with my black pants. I put it with the sandals, which is how they were showing it in the catalog. For me, it felt a little off and I liked it better with a heel, which I'm also showing up here. So that's another way to reinterpret it. You can take similar pieces, put them together, but maybe it doesn't feel quite right. Change the shoe, change an accessory, take out an accessory as the case may be, and it will feel a little bit more you. So a few more outfits that I wanted to discuss was the white blouse with the khaki skirt. I mean, it doesn't get any more just classic than khaki and white. And a white button down is definitely having a moment this fall. So many videos on how to wear a white button down. I'm also contemplating doing a video for that as well. Mine is from Cloth and Stone and it is 
it's great. It has a little bit of detailing. It doesn't have the balloon sleeves like the real one does, but I really liked pairing it with my Ann Taylor Loft skirt that has a paper bag waist. So the skirt that's in the Reels catalog is quite short, and that again does not fit for my lifestyle. Um, so I needed a skirt that was a little bit longer, and of course I just happened to have that one already around. They paired it with some knee-high black boots, which I also had, and it was a little bit of a different twist. I think if I added some more fall accessories, I would feel a little bit more comfortable with that, um, but I would probably pair it with something a little bit flatter or until I can start to wear tights, and then it will feel a little bit more like my personal style. And then the last few pages are focusing on denim because denim as always is having a moment in fall but it's having even more of a moment because we're finding it in dresses in jackets in jackets and of course our pants and our denim jacket so how are we reinterpreting this i mean i'm going for a very literal translation here with the denim dress to a denim dress that i have this one is also from cloth and stone and it is a different cut it's a different shade of denim but it still has that same spirit because it's the denim dress. I paired it with a black boot as you can see in the modeling shots but I really really like brown so I'm pairing it with more of a mushroom or a taupey boot instead and that is how I'm putting a spin on it. You might have some black boots that you absolutely love or a loafer as they're actually showing it in the catalog and that feels more like you and then you're doing a little bit more of a literal translation and that is totally fine. And then of course we have the white button down with denim and then a statement belt. Belts are coming back which is very very exciting. So you can see in the modeling shots, I went almost with a literal translation. I went with a booty instead of a loafer because I don't have any loafers. Um, again, for me, it felt a little like I was playing dress up for the 1990s just because of my age and just my personal style. So for me, I would lose the belt, I would change out the shoes, and I would relax the shirt just a little bit. And that is how I'm putting my personal spin on this rails style. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you again to go back into your wardrobe and put pieces together that maybe you wouldn't put together. Feel free to play around with the clothes that you have before you go purchase. And then if you find that you wish something was tweaked a little bit or you just want maybe a nicer version, that's when you go shopping. So I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and definitely make sure that you are following me on Instagram for lots of fashion tips and makeup tips and also book talks every once in a while. Hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!